Hello and welcome to the news show. I'm John Sote. Today's features, breaking news, Vista hits and misses, and quiet tech. We don't make the news, we break it. More students are landing IT internships and part-time technology jobs this summer, according to a new survey by the Computing Technology Industry Association. Almost half of the organizations surveyed that have IT internship programs said they plan to hire students over the summer, up from 43% last year. The motto of those programs? Be careful what you wish for. In a related story, back to school spending on PCs, laptops, PDAs, calculators, and other electronic devices is expected to grow by more than $1.5 billion this year to a total of almost $4 billion according to the National Retail Federation. Apple CEO Steve Jobs sent a note to Federation officials thanking them for the heads up. Whirlpool began testing so-called smart washing machines and dryers at three homes in metropolitan Atlanta this week, according to Reuters, appliances that can send messages to televisions, computers, and cell phones. The company is also testing a new ad campaign for the machines with the tagline, Whirlpool makes washing machines that make you look stupid. And a Japanese research team flew an experimental aircraft powered by dry cell batteries about a quarter of a mile, farther than the Wright brothers' first flight with a gasoline engine. The researchers' next test flight project? Rubber bands. Break it. Don't make it. I'm here to tell you about Microsoft's Windows Vista operating system and I ain't got a lot of time. I reviewed the new Beta 2 version. The first thing that hits you is Vista's funky new aerographical user interface. It's got glass objects, translucent elements. They're, they're see-through and you can change both their color and their level of transparency. Number two, Vista's sidebar and gadgets are also pretty cool. The Ho-Hum ones post the time and track the temperature, but there are others that make you forget you ever considered solitaire a viable way to while away the workday. I'm talking about video poker and Sudoku. What else did I like? Well, there's Urge, the new online music store Microsoft is running with MTV. It's available in XP, but it's tightly integrated into Vista. I also like the fact that Microsoft's digital rights management, the stuff that prevents you from stealing MP3s, isn't as intrusive as I was afraid it was going to be. Businesses will get improved security in Vista. One thing I didn't like was the fact that you need a hefty graphics card to run the AeroGlass interface. What's the bottom line? Do I like Vista? Yes. Would I pay a hundred bucks for it? Yes. More than that? I don't know. I might take a look at Linux instead. For the news show, I'm Alex Wolf. For the last couple of years, working quietly and effectively on your laptop while flying across the country has meant using a pair of these, the Bose QuietComfort 2 headphone. Now though, there's a new active headphone in the economy cabin, the Bose QuietComfort 3. There are several key differences in the two versions. Version 3 is smaller, slightly heavier, and has memory foam ear pads that sit on your ears rather than around them. I was surprised at how good the acoustic seal is and how comfortable they are compared to the not at all unpleasant quiet comfort to earpieces. The biggest difference though is in the active circuitry used to cancel ambient noise. The quiet comfort 3 is simply amazing in its ability to cut the low to mid range noise that forms the bulk of background sound. It's far better than its predecessor in killing high range noise too, though as you move up the spectrum the impact of the noise cancelling lessens. Of course, none of these improvements are free. You'll pay about $50 extra for the newer version. If you do any traveling, work in a noisy environment, or just need a few minutes of blissful silence, it's a great investment. For the new show, and peace and quiet, I'm Curtis Franklin. Peace and quiet? You're allowed to have that? I thought that was against the law in the United States. I'm John Sote. Thanks for watching the news show. Under an exec who used to be at Apple, Dell's getting some design chops too.